Peter and our crew snuck in before the audience arrived at Lisa. Peter got made up and put on an elaborate head bandage and thick glasses to complete his disguise. <laughs> Next, he went looking for Lisa to explain the plan. Because I'm hip to you, I know right, you. You've right, been on the show right, before. Right, right, All right. right. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard Smilly. How are you? Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Now, this man is living proof that you can get rich at home by trading stocks on the Internet. He is the author of a book called How to Eat What You Want Without Wanting to Eat. I'm very anxious to hear your story. Tell, tell the audience about it. I want to say right off the bat that despite what has happened to me, um, I don't have anything against cosmetic surgery. I really don't. Uh, nothing relating to HMOs is... Uh, you know, part of my problem, frankly, and the fact that some members of my family did have unpleasant experiences in other countries with respect to faith healing uh, is not, you know, it's really not germane to what we're talking about. You have here. no issues with any of that. I really don't. I understand. Right. I understand. So, so tell them a little bit about your your beliefs, your feelings, your story. Well, I'd have to start with my job. As you know, I was working in the Midwest. Uh, for a company that was doing consumer research into the safety of bottled water, actually. And I didn't know, as you know, that uh, the guy who was running that company had become involved with my former wife. And what right. they were doing in terms of, you know, the in vitro fertilization thing was, uh, was not. It was, was a serious scandal. It was, yeah. 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 Just, let me just take a pulse in the audience here. Do you... Sure. Do you agree with what he said? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I think there is really some very strong points that he's making. I wonder if it's, if it's a, a male-female thing. How do you feel about it? Uh, <laughs> it well, do you trade stocks on the Internet? No, I don't. So do you, do you agree with this gentleman here? Well, I'm afraid I haven't quite made the connection. Well, all right, but who would like to ask a question? Questions out here in the audience? Yes. Could you stand up, please? What happened to your head? Well, um, I was part of a makeover segment on the, <laughs> on the uh, Oprah Winfrey show, and I don't know if they want to get into that here. It, it was not, not successful. So don't you want to ask him some questions about trading stocks on the well, Internet? Ms. Gibbons, I, I did want to say that as far as um, the fact that I've trained our two family dogs to do those tricks, <laughs> that, uh, you know, um, we're trying to develop a side business in my family. Um, you know, the aluminum siding that we were involved in was not successful, and the pet thing uh, would be more so, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. What exactly are you talking about? You keep throwing out things that don't pertain to anything to investing online. Dogs and aluminum siding and botched makeovers. We're confused. What are you, are you confused, about? audience? Well, Lisa, your audience is too smart for us. That's what I think. First of all, you've got my name wrong. It's not, it's not smilly. No, it's not. It's smile. As in, you're all on candid camera. 